Hi everyone, James Price here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for all of the love and support that you've shown me on my previous videos. Thank you for the likes and the shares and the wonderful and encouraging comments. I truly do appreciate each and every last one of you guys for that. And thank you to everyone that has subscribed to this particular channel. Thank you so very much. And also guys, remember in the description right underneath this video, I put my personal email. That way, if you have any questions or concerns regarding one of my videos, any of my content, um, you can reach out to me. You can hit me up through email. I would absolutely be honored to help any of you. I have helped people in the past, and um, it wouldn't be a bother to me in any way, shape, or form. So just reach out to your boy, okay? Because you may not want to put anything in the comment section for others to be all up in your business, okay? So just reach out to me, okay? All right, guys. The name of this video is going to be called Speak No Evil. That's, that's kind of catchy, right? Speak No Evil. That is so catchy. I like that, I must say. Um, but anyway, that's what this video is called. But before I go any further, I do want you guys to know that I am a believer in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And if you're like me and you want to draw closer to Almighty God, Yah, Yahuwah, then you need to... Open up the Bible, number one. You definitely need to read and study God's Word. If you read in um, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15, the Bible says, Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So you definitely need to read the, open up and read the Bible. I got my Bible right here. Right here. I'll be, I be reading this boy. I'll be opening, studying it. I got a uh, highlight marks all in this. You see, you guys see that? So I'll be all in, man. So it's just, it's just like going on a journey. It's like I use my imagination and I can picture what's going on, what, what I'm reading in the Bible. It's, it's amazing. So just dive into it and get going. Draw closer to God, okay? And number two, you need to develop a prayer life, okay? If you read in Matthew chapter 6, verse 6, the Bible talks about going into your prayer closet or your secret your secret place and seeking your Father in, who sees you in secret and he will reward you openly, okay? So that prayer and reading this, the Word of God is the only way of communication with the Father, that's how you get revelation. We don't have his cell number. We don't. We don't have a mailing address that we can go visit him or mail him a letter. The only way of communication with the Almighty Heavenly Father is through prayer. Okay? So we need to develop a prayer life. Get up five minutes early, ten minutes early. That's it. And just speak to him. Pray. Thank him for just your breath. You know, life is not promised to us in any way, shape, or form. I learned that once I lost my late wife, Miss Janika Price, when I lost, um, you know, my sister-in-law, uh, when I lost my dad, uh, when I lost my uncle. I lost my uncle about a week ago. I lost him as well. And, um, you know, losing these people... It helps you realize how serious and how important life is and how we should take every single breath um, at, at just have an appreciation for it because life is not promised us. If you read in James chapter 4, verses uh, 13 through 15, the Bible clearly lets us know that our life is but a vapor. It's here one moment and gone the next. We shouldn't go around talking about what we are going to do. What we should be saying is if it's the will of the Father. If God, if it's his will, then I'll do this or that. Okay? It's always good to plan for the future, but you don't know if you're going to make it there. Let's just be honest, okay? We just don't know. You know, this could be my last video. I don't know. But while I'm here, there's a reason that I'm here, and I'm grateful for being here. You know, I anticipate having more time. I do. I really do. But I don't know for sure. All right. But I am grateful for right now, this very moment. OK, so number one, make sure that you read and study the word. Number two, make sure you develop a prayer life. You need that if you want to draw closer to our almighty heavenly father. OK, 
All right, guys. The name, of, like I said, the name of this video is called "Speak No Evil," and I, the Holy Spirit convicted your boy, man. The Holy Spirit definitely convicted me because, you know, I was talking about someone. I wasn't intentionally saying anything bad about this person, but I realized through the Holy Spirit that, you know, I, I needed to shut my mouth because if I'm not saying something good about this person. If I'm not praying for this person, then I need to shut up pretty much. You know, I'm not a gossiper. So what am I, what am I gossiping for? So the Holy Spirit taught me that, you know, I have to be quiet because if you read in Matthew chapter 12, verse 36, the Bible clearly lets us know that we have to account for every idle word that we speak. And uh, when when the Bible says idle word, it means like passing judgment or negativity onto other people. So we gotta we gotta account for that. If we're if we're talking about people and and saying bad things about people, and we're not repenting to the Lord to say I'm sorry, forgive me, and turn from that foolishness. You gotta give an account for that, okay? And I don't want to stand before Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, and, and talk about, well, Lord, the reason I was talking about him and the reason I said that is because of this or because of that. There's no excuses. Okay? So you have to give an account for every negative or idle word that you speak. Okay? All right, I'm going to give you guys a, a couple more scriptures, a powerful scripture that's in Titus chapter 3. Verse two, the Bible says, speak evil to no man to be, I mean, to be no brawlers, but gentle, showing all meekness unto all men. OK, so that's just showing love, peace, treating people fair. OK, it's just simple stuff. It's not hard when you have the Holy Spirit, when you're a believer in the Father, Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. It is not hard to show love to everybody. It's not, it's not hard to have peace with people. So that's all the Bible wants you to do is just show love, have peace with everybody. Okay? And we all need to do that. The second scripture is in Ephesians 4 and 29. It says, let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. But that which is good, okay, but that which is good to the use of edifying that it may minister grace unto the hearers. So pretty much the Bible is saying, if you don't have anything good to say, don't say anything. That's pretty much what the Bible is saying. If you don't have anything good to say about somebody, stop talking about them. If you're not praying for them. If you're not going to go to them and say, look, this is what you're doing wrong. Because as, as a believer, as one of God's children, it's our duty to let people know when they're doing wrong. If you're around this person, you know that they're doing wrong. You should show love because that is a sign of love telling people the truth and let them know, look, you shouldn't be doing that. You know, that the, our father in heaven frowns down upon that. So this is what you should do. You know, you should tell them, just tell them, you know, the truth does set people free. It may hurt for a moment. Absolutely. But it will set people free. OK, so if, if you also look up um, edifying in the whole the, um, um, the Strong's Concordance of the Bible, it's a pronounced. It's a Greek word. Number thirty six, twenty four. And it's pronounced uh, oi a uh, I'm sorry, it's a, it's a Greek word, and um, it, it just figuratively means to uh, speak well of other people. That's pretty much what the Bible is telling you to do, speak well of other people. So, pre, so if you don't have anything good to say, guys, don't say anything, okay? Pray for that person. If you see fault in that person, pray for them. Pray for them. That's the right thing to do. Because like I told you in Matthew chapter 12, verse 36, we have to give an account for every idle word, meaning negative words, negative speaking that we have about other people. OK, so I hope that 
this was a blessing to you. It was a blessing to me. The Holy Spirit definitely helped me. And, uh, and, and I'm turning from that foolishness. I can't, I, like I said, I'm not a gossiper, but I still was running my mouth. You know, I can't be running my mouth and still talking about, oh, I love the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I can't, I, come on, man. It's, that's fake. That's been a hypocrite. I definitely don't want to be that. So, if you like what you heard in this video, make sure that you give, give your boy that thumbs up. Um, and also, if you're not subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe button and when the bell icon pops up, click all and you'll be notified whenever I upload new content. And also check the description right underneath this video and, uh, and keep a lookout uh, for the link of my new channel called Writing with JP. And uh, I'm excited about it, man. It's a, it's a wonderful channel, wonderful content. You know, show me love over there, man. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers over there. You know, I had to do a contract with YouTube and they told me once I get to a thousand subscribers and 2,400 viewing hours, they are going to start paying your boy. Can you believe that? So go on over there, help me out, man. You, you don't even have to, you don't even have to like me, man. Just help me out because I love you. All right. All right, guys. I love you. God bless you. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.